This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. Internal documents from Microsoft are showing complaints made concerning employee harassment and the wage gap. Angela Miles reports in today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, the shakeup at the White House is behind the rush of investors buying gold. As anxiety builds, they are looking for a safe place to harbor their money. President Trump says he is looking at CNBC commentator Larry Kudlow to become the next economic advisor in his administration. Gary Cohn is out after disagreeing with the president about tariffs on steel and aluminum. Startling documents are going public that reveal female workers at Microsoft filed 238 eight internal complaints about gender pay discrimination or harassment at the company between 2010 and 2016. Reuters was first to report on the documents and according to that report an internal review by Microsoft found only one gender discrimination case had merit. Apple says to save the date of June 4th for its Worldwide Developers Conference. That event typically showcases Apple's next products and operating systems. The stock is up 30 percent during the past year. Thanks, Angela. Well, a family has lost their beloved pet due to a negligent decision that United Airlines is taking full responsibility for. According to reports, the flight attendant on a flight from Houston to New York insisted that a family put their dog in an overhead bin. The family was assured that the dog would be fine for the three-hour flight, even with no airflow. Passengers reported hearing barking for part of the flight, but by the end of the journey, the dog was found deceased. United Airlines has issued an apology and said that this should have never happened and that the animals are to be in a hard or soft case on the floor in front of the passenger the entire flight. They extend their deepest condolences to the family who have two children and are investigating to assure that this tragedy ever never happens again. Scientist, professor, physicist, and father of three, Stephen Hawking, has died at the age of 76 years old. He leaves behind his three children, Lucy, Robert, and Tim, who said that they will miss him forever. Hawking was born in Oxford, England in 1942. He was a 21-year-old PhD student when he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. He was given a year to live. Hawking was confined to a wheelchair and spoke through a voice synthesizer. His 1988 book, A Brief History in Time, explained the universe to everyday people, which shot him to celebrity status. We're going to tell you about the Baker to Vegas relay race right after this break.